we have a full moon coming up on September 29th. The full moon is going to be in the first house energy, Aries. Aries, yes. So, guys, <laughs> what this energy is bringing in this full moon, the illumination of this full moon is it's a time of starting over. Uh huh. It's also a time of maybe a little bit of wanting to act a little bit wildly. Yes, but be, be cautious because, guys, the wildness that's motivating it is fury. It's fire energy. Uh, and it can also set off some energy of you versus me. I'm going, we're going to get some revenge. We're going to go into battle, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, because it's the fiery energies of Aries. Yes. Let's read a little bit more on this, guys. And, and I use the Moonology Diary. Yes, it's a good one too, y'all. Mm -hmm. Says at this time, at the time of this full moon, the planet of love and abundance, Venus, is clashing with the planet of chaos and unpredictability, Uranus. Uh huh. So all bets are off when it comes to saying exactly how everything is going to play out. Yes, the fact that we've got Aquarius, Uranus <laughs> energy popping in, that is a liberation. A liberating, I don't want to be bound kind of energy uh so if you've been experiencing um especially since our north and south nodes have switched if you've been experiencing and having undercurrents of you really wanting to liberate yourself from something address something that you feel is just you know just a little bit too confining for you or um working against you uh, this moon is going to bring up the urge, that urge of liberation from situations and people is going to be amped up and fired up within us. Thus, I said the acting out wildly. Be cautious because what's motivating it is fire, fury and fire fire burning underneath that energy yes so guys let's jump in we are using uh star or rising signs for our moon readings if you don't know what your rising sign is you can do um quick google on free birth charts uh and find out what your uh star or rising sign is uh, so let's jump in Libras, my Libras rising, guys. <laughs> Y'all know this is my reading too. Yes, because it's my star sign. Guys, I was like, bam. <laughs> uh, our seventh house, our house, seventh house, guys, seventh house is being pinged. The energy, this moon is stirring energies in that seventh house. Yes, Venus, thus the Venus clashing with Uranus right now, guys, is a big influence for us and then factor in the Aries energy. Uh, self-appearance uh, with your Aries, your image, how you come across to other people, how you perceive yourself, how you want to see yourself and feel about yourself is being stirred up with the Aries, but the Uranus and Venus coming together, guys like this. When, when this, this is our two oddball planets because Venus, you know, it uh, rotates backwards on its axis. And where um, Uranus is over on this side. It's the two oddballs that have wonky oddball orbits. The way it, it rotate, They rotate. Very different. <laughs> it's like a divine feminine and divine masculine coming together going, whoa, whoa, okay. But think, when they come together, uh, think of what would be the best phrase. Um... Bring it to me. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Yes. Absence makes. That's the theme of uh, the energy that's hitting. Seventh house is about 
partnership, relationship, whether it's professional, uh, any important relationships in your life to, from romantic marriages to friendships, um, uh, the really close, to, close bonded friendships, that kind of thing is being stirred in this house. So think of anything, especially relationship right now, guys, anything that feels boring, humdrum, or, yeah, we just, we were around each other too much. We might feel a need to withdraw. <laughs> Have a spa day on top of it because vanity, Aries is pulling the vanity strings on our heart of, oh, you know, I'm getting older. I wanted to, I want to be young again. I want to feel young again. Let me go dance naked under the moon. Mm -hmm. And y'all know for me, that's going to require me to go deep into the woods. Because nobody needs to see that yet. <laughs> no. But seriously, it may be we want a spa day. We just want to feel good about ourselves because our vanity strings are being pulled. I want to feel good. I want to know that I'm I'm presenting myself well on uh, the appearance, outer appearance level. But at the same time, it's like uh, if we've got too humdrum, boring in a connection... We may actually be like, yeah, let's take a break for a minute. I'm going to go have a girl's night out. You go have a guy's night out, that kind of thing. And then we'll come back together mm -hmm. and reignite the flame and the fire. <laughs> yes. I love it. I love it, guys. Oh, I'm not going dancing naked under the moon, guys. Mm -mm. That just ain't happening ever again. No. <laughs> Uh-uh, not doing it. But I will have go have a spa day. I could use a trim on these long nails, which I'm getting ready to do after all these readings. Yes, because they're way too long. So let's do a spa day. Feel better about self. Mm -hmm. Let's jump into your reading. And I've done pulled the wrong deck again. I don't know why I keep doing that. Let's do the numerology. Let's see what's coming out for my Libras right now that's important around this full moon mm, got one here Ooh, synchronicity 87 Ooh, synchronicity things in the flow am i holding no i'm not holding upside down hmm i'm not reading them upside down either though mm -mm, not doing it oh we got happy ending Happy ending, synchronicity, happy ending to something that we might have thought wasn't going to turn out so well. But what else? Love. Look at there. Love. Divine feminine earth energy on that number six. Yes, it's feminine energy embracing the feminine side of self and connections. Bottom of the deck, we've got healing 66. Wow. 666. Six, six. <laughs> number of man of humanity oh i like that let's see what else is going to come out like i said uh on this one synchronicities is going to ha be happening during this time um everything works out perfect happy endings yeah i like that I'm trying to think. Y'all know I'm sitting here because I'm, this is also my reading. I'm going, what do I think is not going to end happily? <laughs> There's quite a few things. So let's just sum them all up into complete healing and love. Everything is going to work out fine. <laughs> We're in the flow. Yes. Let's see. The answer is simple. Got one on the bottom. Blow off some stuff. Theme. <laughs> more sixes guys sixes feminine energy is predominant the queen energies are predominant for us uh, right now in this time just laugh mm -hmm. quit taking things so serious blow off some steam have some fun what else do the spa day guys <laughs> we might really go dance naked under the moonlight and reach out. Oh, I love this one. Reach out. Let, allow others to pamper you and give to you a little bit. Be open to the reciprocity of good stuff coming back to you. Fill the well is on the bottom of the deck. I love that. 
refill the well. Allow everybody to refill during this time and make sure you're refilling your own pails. Uh -huh. Let's see, a personal moon phases uh, during this time for Libras. My Libras. Ooh, pop. Adjustments are required. Third quarter moon adjustments. And I'm really feeling like the adjustments are just this, guys. The trust, the faith, everything. Synchronicities working out. We're in the flow. Blow off some steam. Quit taking things so serious. Uh -huh. We're in need of something to revitalize ourselves, to refresh ourselves. Because like I said, uh, Aries energy is going to pull on the vanity strings of, I want to feel good about myself. I, even if it's just something small, do it. The answers you need are coming full moon in Gemini. Yes, communications. The answers, the clarity you need. Anything you were in doubt about, you're going to get the answer to. Step out of your comfort zone. North Node. Mm -hmm. North Node. Aries Energy. Pay attention to it, guys. On a collective level, uh, we've got uh, Aries as our North Node now. Uh, the way we identify ourselves, the how we feel about ourselves. Bottom of the deck. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon and cancer. Now, I love that one. Full moon in Cancer. Home and hearth is all well with that card. Now let's pull the tarot. See the crooks of any matter that's really predominant and important right now during this full moon time. See what's coming out. Oh my Libra is pop. Hermit mode. Introspection. Virgo energy. Mm -hmm. That, guys, can be our, uh, the heart grows fonder with absence, <laughs> yes. In the past, uh, Ace of Pentacles, uh, always trying to manifest something tangible, uh, focusing in on tangible stuff. Uh, I need to nurture it. But what else? Ooh, our commitment to things. Love, 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 love is in the air. Mm. More Gemini energy. Wow. Movement of the air. Over your head. Eight of Wands. Momentum. Things picking up. Wanting things to pick up. But also travel, guys. Sometimes that's, uh, think travel through the air. Let's, <laughs> let's get an airplane ticket. <laughs> but really, things, wanting things to move, um, higher up. Up, pick up speed, pick up fire. Think of the wands, fire energy. And I want to come out of my comfort zone, mm -hmm. the North Node. I'm in comfort zone. I'm grateful for my comfort zone, but we need some fire. We need a little bit of lively vitality brought back into the picture is what we're focusing in on. Am I a little too much in my comfort zone? Uh, I want a little bit of a challenge. Uh, five of pentacles over here and we've been playing it small on something this is a card we call it the lack mentality but it's not actually really lack it's all the pentacles are there we're just holding ourselves back from something opportunity is there but for whatever reason we feel compelled to play small and hold ourselves back we definitely got Sagittarius energy popping in for expansion on our thoughts and our feelings right now. Uh, being called to something different. Come out of your comfort zone. Expand. Ooh, yes. And the world card. Mm, ready for a new phase of life. Wow. One more sticking out with it. Ten of Cups. Bliss. Tens. Tens. Wow. Heaven on earth bliss. What would what will bring true emotional fulfillment? What's lacking in that Ten of Cups? Ten of Cups incorporates all of the elements. The Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles. It's all in those cups. Uh, so yeah, we are definitely wanting something that's uh, more more. I don't know how else to put it. Just more. Uh, Sagittarius energy uh, during this time is calling us to explore and to wonder 
to uh, venture out um, new situations, new places, things like that. Um, just the newness of something is what seems to be on us, and we are so ready for it to happen. I'm tired of staying small. I'm tired of not having all them eights, eight of wands moving. Ah, okay. Let's keep going here. Let's see where it's headed. Got a two of swords out in front of us. But what else? A three of pentacles. Oh. Interesting. Let's see what's on bottom. Underneath us here, we're going in a circle, guys. Seven of Cups making the decision, not talking ourselves out of making the decision. And King of Cups finding emotional stability and allowing transformation to take place. And uh, also, oh, guys, hold on. Let's see what that one was. Confidence. Taking back our confidence. Like I said, vanity is pulling on us. This card is uh, really telling us to take back our confidence. Uh, when it comes to our outer appearance and how we feel about ourselves, whether that be, you know, for real, a spa day, get our hair done, uh, new outfit, something, or needing something on a physical level to make us uh, feel better and help us alter and shape shift the way we're feeling on the inside. We definitely got a curiosity and a passion about something, wanting to venture out to do something but we're trying to be too sensible about it uh -huh. too sensible mm -hmm. with that scorpio energy of no that would be immature of me to just pop, fall back to a page of wands and give into it and we're not allowing ourselves the opportunity we're talking ourselves out of something that goes with this ten of cups up here we're holding ourselves at a seven a seven of cups uh, how are we going to get to the the Ten of Cups from the Seven, the Eight, and the Nine? Uh, eight is what's really important to you right now. Reevaluate the emotional fulfillment of something and then the wish come true on the Nines. Then you'll get your Ten. Mm -hmm. Out in front of us, it does show us uh, being presented with an opportunity, a battle between the head and the heart on the two of swords and how to manifest it. Um, <clears throat> think partnership um, with the seventh house of will everybody be okay with me doing something I want to do that's emotionally fulfilling, that ignites my fire and my passion. Uh, so we uh, we are a little bit tiny. I don't know how how many will be supportive of me in this. Three of Pentacles is teamwork. It's reciprocity. Uh, it's actually the blueprint to the change that we're wanting to create. Let's read the twos, guys, because we got the Two of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. We'll go ahead and read the Three of Pentacles too. Let's do that one first. Is it possible I can expand beyond my current reality? That's the Three of Pentacles. Let's come back to the twos because you're in the, in the head and the heart. So we're going to read the swords. No, let's read them all. Let's read the fire, the wands. What you're on fire about, twos. Is choosing not to choose for myself keeping me stagnant or stuck? On an emotional level, the cups, do inner wounds need tending to so emotional clarity can prevail? Two of swords, does thinking or feeling my way through something work better for me? Because that two of swords is battle between head and heart. Two of pentacles, is it possible that if I make a decision, my life will come into balance? If I go on and make a decision and lead the way. Yes, lead the way. I want to come back real quick, guys. What's on the bottom of this deck? Ooh, spotlight energy, gratitude, the six of wands, uh, progress moving up, but also feeling pressure. A spotlight energy that's uh, sort of like a Leo energy. 
that makes us feel like we've got to live up to something. <laughs> yes, the vanity pull. Let's pull. I, I want to come in on your lovers. Let me find my steampunk deck real quick. Let's find out what that lovers is. Um, that's your uh, past your past actions and behaviors uh, when it comes to manifesting, uh, t growing tangible things, nurturing what it is you've got going on. And like I said, it is predominant on partnerships, relationships. Let's see what, what that's entailing. The high priestess. Not divulging everything and ooh, the ace of cups. Okay, hold on. And tower blocked, blocked. Queen of Cups, Cancer energy here, home and hearth. What this is saying because we are lacking, and you'll see down here underneath how we're getting from the seven into a 10. We got to go through the eight and the nine. We've blocked one of those chalices from the get go in the past. Um, we, we started something new, something tangible, started building it, nurturing it. We committed to it. We committed ourselves fully to it, but we kept something hidden, hidden that we truly love and are passionate about that brings emotional fulfillment to us we blocked it we blocked ourselves, and now we're standing going but 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 i really wanted that chalice what's in that chalice mm -hmm. this is our time because like i said it's calling us to free ourselves and not be in suspended sacrificial mode uh, your eight of cups from the seven is you sacrificing uh, in the past for whatever reason, for obligations, for things, you know, you had good reasons then, but you're being called to, to step into, step, start stepping towards the eight and the nine of cups of the eight of cups. Come into the now. What's the priority now? You already know what a pro one of the priorities is for you because you blocked yourself from being able to have that chalice in the past. You felt like you needed to block yourself. And now is the time to unblock because you need that now. It's need. It's a necessity for you now. Mm. So that's interesting. What's on the bottom of that? King of Cups again, Scorpio transformation, eighth house energy, being able to trust um, everyone will be supportive of you in you finding your Ten of Cups, your fulfillment on something. That's, that's our biggest issue is the uh, Scorpio is the eighth house um Go back and look at Virgo because Virgo was actually influenced in the 8th house. And I explain a lot more about that 8th house uh, being uh, the house of depth. The depth of bonding, of sharing, of transformation. Deep transformation, deep sharing, intimacy. Think of it, the deeper intimacies that come after the 7th house. Do we truly have that in all of our relationships? If not... Uh, it, and it's insinuating not because, oh, look, Six of Pentacles, the past, we have not been truly able to feel like others want to bless us the way we wanted to bless them. We've held ourselves back because of we felt like there was a lack of support. I don't think there is a lack of support. I think it's just in our own mind. Uh -huh. to make us feel selfish for wanting what we want if, if it does that's something you've got to work through in that eighth house energy that comes right after the seventh of Scorpio energy of is it really selfish of me I don't think it is selfish of me yeah finding the emotional stability in a rock and roaring ocean of emotion Soul giraffe, see the bigger picture of things is coming out for you. Mm -hmm. You are able to see the bigger picture, uh, to rise above, to quit looking at the details, to quit with the play small, hold back, 
let me just give that opportunity up because and i don't know what it is it's the sagittarius energy coming in on that five of what we've been holding back from sagittarius energy the ninth house um uh, is higher learning things like that exploration uh, things like that so we've definitely on fire been on fire for a while that we gave up something you will only see the way by making the way you have to make the way don't wait for somebody else to do it for you the alchemical artist transformation deep deep transformation for the eighth house and seventh your effortless effort is fully required. Don't think about it. Just do it, guys. Don't overanalyze anything. Mm. Let's get you a... I picked up too many decks here. Let's get a... What is this? Oracle of Light. Sword of Light Oracle. I'll get it right in a minute, guys. This is a new deck. I really do love it. Let's see what's coming out for my Libras. My Libras. Ooh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Embrace your life purpose. I am guiding you towards your divine life purpose. Whatever makes your heart joyful is what you're meant to be doing. Joyful. We gave up joy on and fire and passion on something guys this is your bliss your joy card and that it's not showing us looking for a ten of pentacles it's showing us looking for the heart fulfillment make a decision are you choosing to prioritize yourself or another in this situation Accept divine guidance pointing you towards your own joy. You deserve it. You deserve it. Yes, you do. This is the problem we're having down here out in front of us. We don't feel like we deserve it or the others want it for us. They'll want it for you when you acknowledge it, that you want it for yourself. Don't give up on love. A relationship you cherish can be healed. Allow me to clear the way for forgiveness so that love can thrive again. Mm -hmm. So that love can thrive again. I love that one. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. <laughs> yes, it does, Libra. For some of us, we are questioning that. We might be, it's for, I don't think it's for all of us because it, it just came rushing back to me. We may be in separation and trying to work things through. This is the time to work things through, but you've got to do it from an authentic level where you're not sacrificing your bliss, your joy, and your happiness because that's bled over to the other person. Of they feel like you sacrificed, they, that they caused you to miss out on the bliss and the joy in life, and they don't like holding and shouldering that kind of karma on their self. So no more self-sacrificing if you want this relationship to be healed and to work. No more self-sacrificing. The person wants you to be happy, fulfilled. Bottom of the deck. Get your power back. You have forgotten who you are. You are a child of the divine. So take back your power Take back your power. Absolutely. Libras, guys, I hope it was helpful. I'm sending you love and light. Allow yourself to be blessed today.